Hey everyone, today I want to talk about nails. What some of you may not already know about me, just because I haven't really talked about it that much on the blog, is in addition to being, you know, a normal sort of fashion slash commercial model, I'm also um, a specialist hand model. And I wanted to talk about this today because I've wanted to do a post for a while about what's in my manicure kit bag. Just because when you're working with nail technicians who are, you know, at the top of their game and light years ahead of any nail technician that you'll get in the sal, in, you know, in your normal manicure beauty salon, um, just because, you know, when you're on a photo shoot, the camera's this close to your hand and picks up every little detail, you know, a photo shoot nail has to be that much more impeccable than a salon nail, you know, every detail, you know, they just go in, oh, they, you know, they're just, they're just legendary. So I've picked up a couple of tips and techniques on the way and, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the tricks and techniques so much in this video, although I can in another video. Just what I wanted to talk to you about today is professional tools and what professional tools I keep because I have to do my own manicures if I book a hand job um, at the last minute as it often is and I'm doing another job you know like an e-com or a lingerie job or whatever I'm doing the day before I don't have time to book myself in for a manicure I'll often be doing my you know prep the night before I mean there will be a nail technician on the job but you have to keep your nails generally quite tip top anyway and I don't want them to have to be you know, removing somebody else's nail polish that I've had on the shoot the day before. So I have to kind of learn to do it myself just to cut a long story short, otherwise this will go on forever. So to cut to the chase, I'm just gonna talk you through some of the professional tools and products that I use to give myself a professional looking manicure all the time, as I need to do. So the first thing, uh, I'm gonna first talk about the things that don't fit in my little kit bag. Um, this is cuticle remover from Skin Truth. I got this from Sally's. This is fantastic, essential for kind of getting rid of cuticles, which I know sounds a bit weird, but it just basically doesn't remove the cuticle completely. It just removes the build up of dead cuticle skin. So what you do with it is you basically get it, you know, dispense a little bit into the palm of your hand, get it on a q-tip and then put it all over kind of the the top of your nails and then that softens the dead skin and then you'll go in with a cuticle blade which I will show you in a second um what else have I got here hand cream this one's from the body shop hemp hand protector hemp amazing so many I was chatting to somebody today about all the amazing uses for hemp apparently it's last several times longer than cotton you know if you use it as a textile it doesn't stain as easily god knows why it's banned you know i think anyway i'm not going to get into a whole conspiracy rant about it but hemp amazing for nourishing and moisturizing your skin this hemp, hemp hand protection from the body shop is fantastic it was given to me as a gift but actually I actually prefer to use almond oil because I, you know, I use it on my face sometimes, as you saw in the face oil, about two posts below. And I also use it on my whole body. I use it in my homemade body oils. It's an anti-cellulite body oil that you might, I'll put a link to it actually. So th this is great. I prefer almond oil, but I'll, I'll finish this and then I'll go back to my almond oil. Hemp hand protector from the body shop. This is elegant touch. I'll talk you through this in a second. Remind me. Anyway, this is my little manicure kit bag. It's in a vintage clutch, because I love vintage. Anyway, let's open it, see what goodies are inside. What nasties. Okay, there's no, there's no actual nasties in here, because I got them out before. Anyway, moving on. Right, I'm gonna start with, what should I start with? Okay, let's start with these nail treatments. They're from Avon. One of them is a peeling and brittleness solver prevents peeling and brittleness and this one's strong results it's a nail strengthener I mean these are all right they they help um, I wouldn't say this actually solves peeling and brittleness maybe I just don't use it often enough what I actually find is more helpful than either of these is taking biotin which is a supplement you can get from Holland and Barrett it also helps your hair grow stronger and makes it grow I don't know if it grow, makes it grow faster but it strengthens it um, the, these are fine, I'm, you know, they help, but 
they're, they're probably not the best on the market. If I were to get another nail treatment once these have run out, I would probably try something from Sally Hansen. So what, once that's happened, I'll try it and, and let you know how I do with them. But these, these are fine for now. The Avon ones are, they're, they're good, especially for the price, they're good. Um, okay, on to the files and stuff like that. This is a sanding block. This is my number one, would not be without. It's amazing. I mean, the, uh, the, the you know, this is what I was going to say about this. With the peeling and brittleness solver, I still get peeling and brittleness sometimes. My nails do still flake sometimes. And sometimes, because I'm a bit of a picker, you know, if I see a bit coming off, I'll just really go for it. Which is, which is not great for me to do as a hand model, but this really, really, this is where this comes into full force. Because it, you know, with uneven surfaces, when you get peeling and brittleness, you just sand it down and it smooths the surface right over and it actually prevents any more peeling. So that's a lifesaver and I wouldn't be without it. I've got a buffer in here as well. This is amazing. This is also from Sally's. This one is by ASP, All Season Professional. It's only a two-sided buffer. I've tried the four-sided buffers that you can get from Boots and Superdrug. I just think they're an absolute waste of time because the, you know, the remove ridges side, you just go at it for ages and ages, forever and ever, and, you know, it doesn't, it's just a waste of time. So I would actually, if I were you, get a sanding block because it's so fast, literally just sands it down and then go in with this, which will give you a mirror shine. But to be honest, I don't buff my nails that much two different files that I use one is a very coarse file one is a very fine file they're both salon quality I mean these come you, the, the, Sally sell these individually and these in packs of three so I think I bought them like a year ago and I'm on my second one now and I use them all the time so this is my second one of course this is still the same one that I've been using for a whole year it lasts forever and I use this to take my nails down to shorten them especially if I get basically I'll grow my nails long until one of them splits and then I'll take them all down to the level of where the split is I, I don't usually cut them with the scissors I have a pair of nail scissors but I don't take my nails down using the nail scissors because you know when you're cutting them sometimes you you can deform the shape of them and then that basically can make the layers split and then you know it's just it's not great for the nail to do that so so I prefer not to use those nail scissors um, I use them for toenails sometimes, but generally these are better. This is better, sorry. And then once I get them down to the right length, then I go in with this and it smooths it all off. And this is perfect, beautiful. And you can go, you can go both directions with this. It doesn't split your nails. This is amazing. This is, you know, once you've used the cuticle remover, this is a cuticle blade also available from Sally's. It's got two ends. It has one rounded end. Can you see that? and then a flatter end. So that's better for the corners and then that's better for kind of pushing the cuticles back. It doesn't scratch the surface of the nail because of the way it's been beveled. And it's just amazing. It just, you know, gets rid of all that dead cuticle skin. Wouldn't be without it. This is also, this is a cuticle trimmer. I know it seems silly to have a cuticle blade and a cuticle trimmer, but once you start using them, you'll see why. This is better for kind of pushing all the dead skin back, and then you want to go in with this just to cut it all off. And then I have a top coat and a base coat. These are from number seven. They're actually better than I thought they were going to be. I was just, you know, I had to pick these up in a rush at the airport on the way to Munich because I'd run out of my usual ones, and they're, they're actually pretty good, these. Um, but the usual ones that I use are from Sally's and they're by Beauty Secrets. They come in a sort of spherical bottle. You'll see you'll see them in, in salons, professional manicurists will you will use that product. And a small bottle about that size from Beauty Secrets costs about three sixty five. So I think it was actually cheaper than these. So I suppose it's it's just as well that these have performed well. Other than that, that's actually my full full manicure kit. Obviously, nail polish remover I use. The nail polish remover that I use, sorry, I've left it in the other room, is from Boots, and it's the clean-off nail polish remover. They do a few. They One is conditioning and one is strengthening. I just use the clean-off one, the acetone one, because it just, it's faster. 
and I don't want to sit around wasting my time because often I have to kind of do my nails last thing at night after getting in from a shoot so I just want something that's going to work fast and I use enough products to kind of nourish and strengthen my nails to kind of make up for the acetone because the acetone can be a little bit drying I also have this orange stick the only thing I don't really use this this end which is meant for pushing back cuticles because this is much better but I do use this end um, just to tidy up the net after I've given myself a really nice paint job I will just wrap that pointy end in cotton wool and dip it in the nail polish remover and just tidy around the edges because sometimes these q-tips they're not they're not really precision enough so this is much better and I would say that was it I keep a couple of q-tips in there just for administering this and nail polish remover and cotton wool just to use it I mean that's pretty obvious stuff really and that is my manicure kit bag also this is quite important just for you know going to casting whether they're for hand modeling jobs or for normal jobs or just you know going to work because sometimes there isn't time for the makeup artist to do your nails on set so it's always good to go to work with a natural manicure this one's amazing it's color bar usa pro nail lacquer nail lacquer i bought this in india I'll try and find out where you can get this. I'm not sure if you can get this in the UK, but it was fantastic. Um, it was I was bought it quite cheaply actually as well. Um, it's very similar to the OPI. It's even got the same packaging. Oh wait, this is actually. It says Color Bar USA Pro, but it's actually from New Delhi. I'm just looking at the back. They've probably just put USA because they think the USA is the best maybe it is for nail colour I don't know so that's a great one I'll, f I'll find out if there are any stockists for it in the UK but if there aren't try OPI they do great ones or SE do a great natural um, a natural pink that doesn't streak that's what you want something translucent and that's it that's the end of the video I always get a bit funny with goodbyes so so that's why I'm I'm stalling but but that's it I'll, I'll put a picture up on the blog of everything so you can see it all in one go and try and tell you where you can get everything. But the short answer to that is Sally's. So thanks for watching. Have a good evening and I'll see you next time. Bye.